how's everyone doing there tonight? This is called Flix Fix 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well out there. It's going to be a haul video. I did receive some stuff through the mail that I wanted to share with you guys. I got some uh, pickup from Orbit DVD, um, Hamilton Books, which I haven't hit up for a while. So I got some from there. They're really uh, good prices on stuff. And also, I got some Mondo Macabro in and also uh, Vinegar Syndrome Partner Label. I picked up some of those because... Um, I basically hit up the Severin cell for the halfway cell. I either had to pick between them or uh, the partner label from Vinegar Syndrome. So I, ended, I decided to just go with the Severin, which I needed there to the collection. But um, I went back now and picked up a few titles from the Vinegar Syndrome partner label that I needed that I missed out on. And then I'm still going to go back. I still need a few more, but these will be some of the pickups I got. And I'll explain that later. So everyone sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get this started. I'll be starting off first with the Orbit, what I picked up from Orbit DVD. I did pick up the Conjuring Universe 7 film collection. I only owned uh, part one of this, so I needed to get it. And this is the new uh, newer edition they released on Blu-ray. And it does have the seven films. It is uh, missing the La Llorona, but I do have that. So it didn't really affect me. But this does have Conjuring's 1 through 3, Annabelle. Um, Annabelle Creation, Annabelle Comes Home, um, The Nun, so those are the seven films it has, so I'm currently watching these and really enjoying them, it's good to revisit because I do like these films, and this is a good set to have if you want to get it in a pack, it's the Conjuring Universe 7 film collection. Okay, next up we're going to get into what I picked up from Hamilton Book, um, there's some horror films that are really cheap, man, they're around the $5 range. I got uh, Mon 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 Monsters. I hope I said that right. This looked like a lot of fun. It's like a Asian horror film. It's uh, got creatures and monsters and like kind of like a monster squad feel to it. Something like that, but newer modern horror, but it looked like a lot of fun. So I decided to pick that up. It is a Shudder original. Next up, I picked up Feast. And this is... Executive producers Wes Craven, Matt Damon, and Ben Affleck, and Chris Moore. This looked like a fun creature feature. Kind of gave me like a From Dusk Till Dawn kind of B-movie vibe. I've never seen it. It's probably been watched, but for me it's a first time. So, look really cool. Can't wait to check it out. Next up I picked up uh, It Waits. I've been watching like these forest creature features now for the end of summer. And I have seen this years ago, and I remember really enjoying it. So, can't wait to revisit it. There's the back. This was a fun one, I remember, but I haven't seen it in a while. It Waits. Next up, this is an IFC title. I picked up The Damned from the producers of Saw. This sold me on the trailer. I am a sucker for trailers. They could go either way, but this one really intrigued me. And looked really creepy and atmospheric, so that's The Damned. From IFC. Next up I got From the Dark. I have seen this film. I think I watched it on Netflix years ago, but I remember really being impressed by this, but I haven't seen it in a long time, so a revisit's definitely due, but I remember this being pretty fun. Got From the Dark, another creature type feature there. Next up, this ain't horror, but it's one I've been after. It's a uh, Havoc, it has Anne Hathaway. Bijal Phillips, probably slaughtered that name. Freddy Rodriguez. This is a Shout Select, and I've been after this, and it's sold out on some some uh, websites there. But um, I really enjoy my urban type films, and this is like an urban street film that I did watch a long time ago, I think, on the IFC channel, but I haven't seen it in a long time. I remember enjoying this one. That's Havoc from Shout Select. So those are my uh, Hamilton book pickups. And now we're going to get into the Mondo Macabro. So I did order the bundle for this month. Well, the latest month release. We got Love Brides of the Bloody Mummy. And I'm I'm really a fan of Mondo Macabro, man. I, I, I really enjoy these films. films. They're like uh, bizarre horror films that you see. It's similar to Italian horror. And we got the back there. This is limited 610 out of 1200. And it does come with O cards as well. To show you there, real cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Mondo. 
some of these I can't show because they do have offensive stuff, <laughs> as you can see. But uh, these are this is region A, B, and C. I do come loaded with stuff, and there's the back. These are the red limited editions. You can pick up these. They sell out quick, and then you can go to the standard editions, which have which have the blue case on them. But this is uh, Love Brides of the Bloody Mummy. Next up, I picked up uh, The Other Side of the Mirror. This is a Jess Franco film. Um, I wasn't too familiar with Jess Franco, but I've been picking up a lot of his films lately. So this is one I, I'm definitely interested in. It's another A, B, and C region. And this is 685 out of 1,200. There's the booklet. I won't be showing these because they have a lot of uh, sleaze. Yeah, really excited to check that one out. And next up, we got the Orable Sexy Vampire. And this one came with a slip cover. I haven't seen a Mondo Macabro release editions with slips. So I hope they continue to do this because this is really nice. It's really glossy and shiny. There's the back art. And this looked like a sleazy good time as well. There's the inside art. Apologize for the glare, guys. This is region A, B, and C. And I got to check. It comes with O cards. I won't show the booklet because it does have some sleeves as well. But I think these O cards are good to go. You can see. Looks like right up my alley. Big fan of Italian horror. So these Euro type films impress me as well. from Mondo Macabro, the horrible sexy vampire with the slip cover. I hope they continue to do this because I do like my slip covers. So those are my Mondo Macabro pickups. Now we're gonna go into the uh, v Vinegar Syndrome partner label. And I just wanna say that um, I was watching a channel called B Brown. I'll leave the link in the description. And he puts out trailers of the whole Vinegar Syndrome uh, selections for the month and I these are usually titles honestly that I would pass and not care about just by looking at them but after seeing the trailers on his channel I was like man these are cool and a lot of them are horror so I said I need to pick these up because I like them unique type of bizarre horror films and these ones are them so I I watched the trailers I was like man added them to my pickup list right away so um I'm gonna go through these titles I will read the backs to show you how interesting they sound. I mean, they could be hit or miss, but it's a really nice slip cover. This is Midnight Swim. Look at that slip, really nice. And these are low in stock, so I would recommend picking them up. They are dropping, selling out with the slip covers. Death is not what you think. And what it, this intrigued me from the title because um, I haven't flipped the alternate art, but I'll probably still keep it. There's the booklet. I won't be getting into too much. But this is from Yellowville, which has a lot of uh, unique horror films in it. I still want to pick up more. But let me read this for you. This is, it says, Spirit Lake is usually deep. No diver has ever managed to find the bottom, though many have tried. When Dr. Amelia Brooks disappears during a deep water dive, her three daughters travel home to settle her affairs. But when the half-sisters jokingly summon a local ghost, their relationship begins to unravel, and they find themselves drawn deeper into the mysteries of the lake. So this has really caught my attention because I live in I live in New Mexico and um we have a lake in uh Santa Rosa that um has no bottom so this really intrigued me because it has a lake that has no bottom that's always creeped me out since I was a kid so it really sold me on this I want to see this since that's a creep factor from from my real life so that's the midnight swim looks really creepy nice slip. Next up, we got Superior, and this is almost, it's low on stock as well. <laughs> that looks like a pretty much a vagina there. <laughs> so that's, I don't know, these slip covers, some of them are so bizarre, but. Um, there's the alternate art as well. The back, and it says, Superior serves stark and moody 80s style with De Palma-esque thrills. 
a Twin Peaks vibe on a Hal Hartley budget with just the odd dash of old Hollywood thrown in for a good measure. That rat, that rat away sold me. I don't know if it's just overhyping it, but it got me intrigued. There's the inside as well. And um, this looked really cool. Yeah, it did look like kind of like Lynch-like or um, De Palma. So I was I was drawn to it right away. And um, I'm going to read the back for you guys just to know. It says, she go, when Marion is on the run, she goes to the only place she's, she knows is safe, her childhood home. She is greeted by her estranged sister, Vi Vivian, at stay-at-home wife struggling, a stay-at-home wife struggling to conceive and on the verge of failing marriage. Through the two are identical twins. They live opposite lives. Marion's mysterious return disrupts Vivian's small town routine, and the sisters must learn to reconnect and recounsel. When Marion's haunting past finally catches up to her, their separate worlds collide, catapulting both sisters into grave danger. That sounds really interesting. So I decided to pick that up. That's Superior. Um, next up we got Knocking. And this one looked really creepy from the trailer. It's all knocking, 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 and... There's the back as well. So also from Yellowville Pictures. But it does come with a booklet as well. This is a foreign film. I'll just skim through this really quick. But I'll read this back as well. After suffering a traumatic incident, Molly moves into a new apartment to begin her path to recovery, but it's not long. All Wait, after, I can't read guys, <laughs> her arrival that a series of persistent knocks and screams begin to wake her up at night. Molly's new life begins to unra unravel as the screams intens intensify and no one else in the building believes or is willing to help her. Yeah, this looked really creepy, like atmospheric and a whole like apartment concept is really creepy. So that's knocking. And last but not least, this came in like a plastic I picked up we're all going to the world's fair it's real artsy on the slip i'm gonna get out of the plastic i don't know if they put this just because it's a uh, unique or low because it is low on stock but the slip cover is sideways which is unique and then you got some shiny embossment there and there's the alternate art real creepy I heard this audition glows in the dark. I haven't tried it yet, but <laughs> there's the back. And you got a booklet I'll skim through. Another horror film that I did not know of till I saw the, uh, B. Brown's trailers. And it says, late on a cold night somewhere in the US, teenage K Casey sits alone in her attic bedroom, scrolling through the internet under the glow in the dark stars black light posters that blanket the ceiling she has finally decided to take the world's fair challenge an online role-playing horror game embracing uncertainty uncertain i cannot say uncertainty it promises after the initiation she documents the changes that may or may not be happening to her adding her experiences to the shuffle of online clips available for the world to see as she begins to lose herself between dream and reality, a mysterious figure reaches out, claiming to see something special in her uploads. That just sounds awesome. Like, I, I don't know if the films are going to live up to the hype, like I said before, but this just sounds like one I, I got to check out just for the difference. And it's a real nice addition. You can see the see there. These are the Vinegar Syndrome uh, partner labels. I would move on these because they're low on stock. But, yeah, they really intrigued me. And I'm really excited to check these out, like I said. So those are my latest pickups, guys. Please hit a like, subscribe, comment. Love to hear your guys' uh, comments as well. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. This is Cult Flix Fix 24. Back with a video. Everyone stay kind be, and take care. Peace.